am Venom, and you are mine. Oh, yeah. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Propway. As usual, you guys already saw in the title and in the thumbnail what this video is gonna be about. This video is gonna be a tutorial on how to make Venom's mask, or head, or helmet. So this mask is completely wearable, and as you can see, it has a tongue that can be moved up and down, and in a few minutes, I'll show you guys how you can do that. I think the helmet came out very nicely, and I'm super excited to show you guys how to make your own. So the main construction of this helmet is completely... Am I looking at the camera? Okay, I thought I was looking at the home button. So the main construction of this helmet is completely EVA foam, even the teeth. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask if you can use cardboard for this. I would highly recommend using foam for this, mainly because a lot of the pieces do have to be curved to get a nice round head. Cardboard doesn't form and curve that well compared to foam. So if you have access to foam, 100% use that over cardboard. So now to show you how I put this on, really it's just like any other helmet. And it goes on just like that, but obviously you can see my face. If you want to wear it like that, you can. I would highly recommend buying a black mask, like a skin tight spandex mask to wear underneath. And I'm going to do that in a second. I'm going to throw this on. It's not going to be the most flattering look either, but... And once the mask is on, you can just throw on the helmet. And it should look just like this. And now you guys can't see my face, and it looks like I have a Venom head. And now the cool part is now with this removable tongue, I just throw it in and put this little tab underneath my chin. And now, now whenever I talk or whenever I move my jaw, the tongue will flip up and down. And I was really thinking about putting electronics in here to, you know, automatically control the tongue and all that. And then I realized that I could simply do it with just moving my mouth and it turned out very well, I think. And I like the fact that I can take it out if I want to, just to keep the head part of it and easily put it back in to get the moving tongue. And that is basically how I got the tongue to move. But now to make the rest of the helmet, without further ado, let's get on to the tutorial. So as with most of my helmets, I start off with a sheet of EVA foam. This one was 5 millimeters thick. And as you can see here, I am just sketching out a part of the head. I'm kind of just freehanding it and this piece will be the side of the head. And as you can see here, I marked it left and right. So you're going to need two of these pieces. And now I just take a heat gun and I heat it up. And once you have this heated up, we're gonna use this special tool, which I got from the dollar store. It's just a cup with a round top. And I use that to round off the piece. And you wanna make sure you do this while the piece is still warm. It'll form much easier. And when you're done forming it, you should have a nice curved piece that looks like this. And so I just do the same thing with the other side. And once you have the two pieces formed, they should look something like this. And now I'm going to be cutting out a piece that will go in between those two side pieces. So here I'm just cutting it out on a piece of poster board just to kind of get a rough template. And then I trace that out onto a piece of foam. So same thing, I just use a heat gun to heat up this foam. And I'm gonna round it off. The reason you wanna round it off is to make sure you get a nice round Venom head or else it'll look really flat and kind of sharp corners and you don't really want that. So now I just use some contact cement to rub onto the edges. I've said in my previous videos, but I'll say it again, the key to contact cement is you want to apply it and then give it a few minutes to dry just a little bit. And then once it's dried and you stick the pieces together, they should stick permanently and will be extremely strong. So here you see I'm just putting the pieces together.
Okay, okay, so after gluing this together, with this being the right side and this being the left side, it doesn't look right to me. Um, it actually looks like it should be reversed, where this actually should be the front of the mask, and this would be the back, so... You guys can follow the exact same steps, but I'm gonna be switching off this right, that is now left, and this is now gonna be the right. And when I say right and left, I mean in the direction of looking at the mask. So the eyes would be right here. This is gonna be the right side, this is gonna be the left side. You're gonna have the eyes. Something like that. And now that I have the top of the head done, I'm gonna do a little bit of trimming here just because my free hand wasn't perfect. And that's very common whenever I freehand stuff. So here I'm just using a sharpie just to kind of mark off what I'm going to trim off. And now I'm just taking a pair of scissors and just cutting that. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And you should end up with something like this. Now I'm just sketching out another piece and this is going to be the back of the helmet. Which just kind of just covers the back of my neck. And I do plan to eventually post a template for you guys, so you won't have to do any of the free hand sketching yourself. And now I'm just going to be adding some contact cement, and that will get glued on to the bottom of the back of that top headpiece. And now you should have something like this. And now I want to use another piece of foam to kind of sketch out the jaw piece. And here I'm just kind of scraping it in with my fingernail before I sketch it out and finalize it. Now I'm just taking an X-Acto knife and I'm just going to cut out that piece. And I'm going to be doing it into two halves. So here this is just going to go onto the edge of this like that. And then now I just trace out that piece onto another piece of foam for the other side of the jaw. And one tip is before you glue anything into place, you want to just kind of use some masking tape or any other way to temporarily put it on and make sure everything fits correctly. I'm sure a lot of you guys do that yourself, but just a little tip that I like to do. Here I just, again with masking tape, I just make sure that everything fits correctly before I glue it in. And now I just take some of the contact cement and I glue everything into place. But before I do that, here I'm connecting the two halves of the jaw together. As you can see, that's going to be a nice, strong bond, which is why I highly recommend using contact cement. And now just attaching the jaw to the mask here. Here, these triangle pieces just kind of go onto the inside of the mask and this is going to give the mask some rigidity and it'll keep it nice and stiff and strong but it also is accurate to how the real venom mask looks and it's kind of that edge of the mouth piece and now I have this u-shaped piece that's gonna get glued onto the inside of the upper mouth so I just use some contact cement put it on the inside and put it on the U-piece and I connect it just like this and that is going to give you a nice surface to put all of the teeth on which I will show you so shortly and after putting the same piece on the bottom you should have something that looks like this now for the teeth I am using this EVA foam 
rod and and I will try to find a link on Amazon and post it in the description below but as you can see I'm just cutting out these small short pieces and I take a pair of scissors and I just cut at an angle all around and this should let you get a piece that comes to a point and should look perfect for a venom tooth. And as you can see it's kind of rough and it's not perfectly smooth and I think that actually helps with the illusion and makes it look a lot more nastier and grittier. So you're gonna have to cut out quite a few of these. It's really up to you on how many you want to cut out. I just cut out a bunch until I felt I had enough. As you can see, you're going to have a lot of scrap material like this. And this is probably about one third of the teeth that I had to cut out. And again, this is what your teeth should look like. And with each tooth, I put a layer of this gloss Mod Podge on. There's ways to put it on. You can spray it on if you want. You can you know, dip it in. I just brushed it onto each one, which actually took longer than I think it should have, but I like to brush it on, and here I just brush it onto every single piece. And this is just going to give me a nice surface to add some paint to. And as you can see here, I use some white acrylic paint and some of this tan paint. And after mixing that together, I just kind of brush that on as well. And before I put the teeth in, I just put one final black coat of paint onto the whole mask. And now to put the teeth on, you just put some contact cement onto that surface. And then you put some more contact cement onto the bottoms of each tooth, or the tops of each tooth. And now here comes the fun part is putting the teeth on. So I think I actually put the teeth in a little too straight. It would look a lot, you know, more nastier if you made the teeth a little more uneven and not perfectly aligned. But hey, we all learn lessons whenever we're making stuff, so. This is what you should have after the top row of teeth are done. And we are going to do the exact same thing to the bottom row of teeth. So before I continue, I just want to quickly explain how I plan to see out of this mask. Originally, I was going to cut out eye holes, you know, the big venom eyes, and kind of put on the helmet and look through the eyes. But after trying this on, I look ridiculous with this. After trying it on, I realized that I can actually see through the teeth because there are small gaps in the teeth and I can actually see through it. And since I plan to wear, since I plan to wear a black, you know, a black spandex mask, you won't be able to see my face, but I will be able to see through the teeth. So instead of cutting out eye holes, I'm just gonna draw on the eyes and paint it white. And I won't even see through them. I'll be seeing through the teeth, so. That's what I plan on doing, keep watching. So here I'm just using a silver sharpie to trace out the eyes which I sketched in earlier. And this is just gonna give me a nice outline before I paint it in. And now I just use some white acrylic paint with a paintbrush and I just color in that eye. I only show myself doing one layer, but I ended up doing maybe three layers in total just to give it a nice solid white look. And now here for the teeth, I'm using a hot glue gun to add in some of the gums for the teeth. And this actually worked out very nice and it made it look a lot more realistic. Here I'm also using some more hot glue just to add in some more details onto that cheek piece. And you kind of want to make it look, you know, gritty and nasty and adding the hot glue was a nice touch.
and this is where you should be at this point in the build. So now here I just take some of that black acrylic paint and I paint over the hot glue in the cheek. And now for the gums I'm using this red and white acrylic paint and I mix it together. I added some yellow and white just to give a little more orangish look and look a little more like a real mouth. And here I just use a little foam brush and I just color in that hot glue that was on the teeth. And again this will make it look a lot more realistic and a lot more animalistic and kind of nasty so I think it was a really nice touch. And now I'm using the Mod Podge again and I just brush on the Mod Podge onto the entire mask. And the key here really is to not make the Mod Podge nice and neat. It's Venom so you want his skin to look really uneven and kind of patchy and thick in some parts and that's kind of what's nice about this is that you don't have to be perfect. As you can see here I'm just really throwing on the Mod Podge in thick layers as well and that'll give it a nice shiny slimy look. And now here is what the mask should look like while it's drying. And while that's drying, I'm going to be doing the tongue of the mask. So here I'm just sketching out a really long triangle piece. And this is out of 5mm foam. And I'm going to cut an exact mirror of this piece on a thinner piece of foam. So you should have one thick and one thin. And you want to make sure that your tongue kind of goes into this little, you know, S shape, curly shape. So having the thick top will keep the tongue nice and strong, but the thin bottom piece will allow you to glue it together while having that flexibility. So here I'm just adding that contact cement onto the edges of the thick piece. And then I add it to the edge of the thin piece. Now gluing it together can be a little tricky, so I just start off, you know, combining the top, the tops of the pieces, and then I kind of just work my way down along the sides. And you want to make sure that you're keeping the curl in it as you're gluing it, and that's what will keep, that's what will help the tongue keep its nice S curly shape. And what's nice about the contact cement is that, you know, once you connect it together, it'll hold its shape and will hold it in place. And this is what your tongue should look like. Well, not your tongue, but your venom tongue. And I think this looks good in terms of size. So I painted it with a red acrylic paint. And now to get the tongue to move, I came up with the idea of just having this little foam piece which I would control with my chin. You can use a piece of cardboard here or a popsicle stick or really anything. I just had this foam lying around and it fit nicely so I took some contact cement and I stuck it inside of that tongue there. That is the last step of this Venom mask. And here the, your chin would kind of push this up and down and make the tongue move. And here is the finished product. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. And because of how popular Venom is, I'm sure this is gonna be a very popular cosplay at all the conventions. So if you need a mask or need a helmet, 
I hope you follow the tutorial and make one for yourself. As always guys, thank you so much for your support. Really, this channel has grown way more and way faster than I could have ever imagined and I'm so grateful for all of you. For all of you new subscribers or those that haven't subscribed yet, I'm gonna be posting so much more new content and I hope you guys join me for the ride. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I look handsome, don't I? Oh my gosh, that looks scary. You can like see my eyes. Yeah, I, I don't, I just wanna like never see that again, so. All right, it's me. Hi, I'm back.